Picture this, you wake up in the morning and a humanoid robot greets you with a warm smile, asks how you slept, and even remembers that you like your coffee black with a dash of sugar. It's not fantasy anymore. It's the reality of China's booming robotic industry, where technology is pushing the boundaries of companionship to a whole new level. But these robots are so advanced, they're sparking massive controversy. Number one, why companion robots are exploding in Asia. Before we dive into the specific robots, let's talk about why Asia is leading the charge in companion robotics. Several countries, particularly Japan and China, are dealing with rapidly aging populations. By 2050, almost 40% of Japan's citizens will be over the age of 65. China faces similar demographic challenges with its birth rate continuing to decline. With fewer young people to care for the elderly, robots are stepping in to fill the gaps. Then, there's the issue of social isolation. Many people in these countries and around the world struggle to find meaningful human connections. Long work hours, urbanization, and changing social structures have left millions feeling alone. In response, companies are creating robots designed to provide companionship, emotional support, and assistance with daily tasks. But this isn't just about solving societal problems. It's also about Asia's cultural relationship with technology. From anime to tech-driven lifestyles, there's a long-standing fascination with robots and artificial intelligence. The market is massive. The global companion robot market is projected to reach over $50 billion by 2030, with China and Japan leading production and innovation. These aren't just expensive luxury items anymore. Companies are racing to make companion robots affordable for average consumers. Number two, meet Erica, the hyper-realistic humanoid. First up, let's talk about Erica, a robot so advanced that she's been called one of the most human-like machines ever created. Developed at Osaka University by a team led by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, Erica is designed to simulate not just human appearance, but also human interaction on a level we've never seen before. What makes Erica so incredible? For starters, she has a soft, realistic face with features that mimic human expressions almost perfectly. She can smile, blink, and even react to conversations with subtle nods and facial movements. Her creators have given her the ability to hold meaningful conversations using cutting-edge artificial intelligence. So, she doesn't just respond to questions, she understands context, tone, and emotional nuance. But Erica isn't just about appearances. She's equipped with 14 infrared sensors to detect people in the room and can even pinpoint the direction of sounds. This means she doesn't just interact, she engages with you as if she's genuinely aware of your presence. Here's the twist though. Erica isn't just meant to be a receptionist or a newscaster, though she's already excelled in those roles. Her creators believe robots like her could one day serve as full-time companions. Now, whether that excites you or concerns you, one thing's for sure. Erica represents a massive leap forward in robotics technology. Number three, China's affordable companion robot revolution. While Japan pioneered hyper-realistic robots, China is democratizing the technology. Chinese companies like X-Robots and others are producing companion robots at price points that would have seemed impossible just five years ago. Some models are now available for around $3,000 to $5,000, compared to earlier prototypes that cost hundreds of thousands. These Chinese robots feature silicone skin, motorized facial expressions, and AI-powered conversation capabilities. They can recognize faces, remember previous conversations, and adapt their responses based on user preferences. Some models offer customizable appearances, allowing buyers to select hair color, eye color, and even personality traits. The technology behind these affordable robots combines several innovations. Mass production techniques developed in China's massive manufacturing sector have driven costs down dramatically. AI language models similar to CHATGPT provide conversational abilities without requiring custom programming for each unit. And advances in servo motors and actuators have made realistic movement more affordable. Companies are marketing these robots for multiple purposes. Companionship for elderly individuals, language practice partners, customer service roles, and yes, even romantic companionship. The latter category has generated significant controversy and ethical debate. Number four, Pepper and the Emotion Reading Revolution. 
Let's switch gears and talk about Pepper, one of the most famous robots to come out of Japan. Developed by SoftBank, Pepper is a humanoid robot designed to read and respond to human emotions. Pepper is equipped with cameras, microphones, and sensors that allow him to detect facial expressions, voice tone, and even body language. If you're feeling happy, Pepper might celebrate with you. If you're down, he might try to cheer you up with a joke or a funny dance. One of the coolest things about Pepper is how versatile he is. You'll find him working in banks, schools, and hospitals, providing emotional support and even light entertainment. Some people have even taken Pepper into their homes as a personal companion. Whether you need a friend to chat with or someone to play games with, Pepper's cheerful personality makes him a crowd favorite. The technology behind Pepper's emotion recognition uses machine learning algorithms that analyze thousands of data points per second. Pepper has been deployed in over 2,000 locations worldwide, from retail stores to healthcare facilities. The robot costs around $20,000, making it more expensive than newer Chinese alternatives, but still accessible for businesses and some consumers. Number 5. Ibuki, the controversial child robot. Now here's where things get unconventional. Ibuki, a robot designed to look and act like a 10-year-old child. Standing just over a meter tall, Ibuki is built to provide companionship, especially for elderly people who live alone. With his lifelike facial expressions, Ibuki can simulate emotions like happiness, sadness, or surprise. He's even programmed to hold your hand, creating a sense of connection that many people find comforting. While some see Ibuki as a heartwarming way to combat loneliness, others find the concept unsettling. A robot child? It's definitely not for everyone. But for some, particularly elderly individuals who have lost contact with family members or those suffering from dementia, Ibuki offers a unique kind of emotional support. The robot can engage in simple conversations, play games, and provide a sense of presence that helps reduce feelings of isolation. Critics argue that robot children could normalize unhealthy attachments or serve as substitutes for real human relationships that should be maintained. Supporters counter that in cases of severe isolation or cognitive decline, any form of positive interaction is better than complete loneliness. Number 6. A-I-B-O, the robotic dog companion. If a robot child sounds like too much, how about a robot dog? Sony's AIBO has been bringing joy to households for years and it just keeps getting better. AIBO isn't your average robot. This mechanical pup uses AI to develop a unique personality based on how you interact with it. Over time, AIBO learns your habits, recognizes family members, and even responds to commands like a real dog. The best part? AIBO requires zero maintenance. No feeding, no walking, and definitely no cleaning up after him. For anyone who wants the companionship of a pet without the hassle, AIBO is a dream come true. The latest AIBO models cost around $3,000 and feature improved AI, longer battery life, and more realistic movements. The robot dog can express emotions through body language, eye color changes, and sounds. AIBO owners report forming genuine emotional attachments to their robotic pets, with some treating them as full family members. Number 7. The technology behind the revolution. What makes these companion robots possible? Several technological breakthroughs have converged to create this moment. First, advances in artificial intelligence and natural language processing allow robots to hold increasingly sophisticated conversations. Large language models can now understand context, remember previous interactions, and generate appropriate responses. Second, improvements in actuators and servo motors enable more realistic facial expressions and body movements. Early robots had stiff mechanical movements. Modern companions move with fluid, lifelike grace. Third, sensor technology has become both more capable and more affordable. Cameras and microphones, touch sensors, and even thermal sensors give robots multiple ways to perceive their environment. Fourth, battery and power management technology allows robots to operate for extended periods without recharging. And fifth, manufacturing innovations, particularly in China, have driven down production costs dramatically. What cost $500,000 to produce in 2010 now costs under $5,000. The software side is equally important. Cloud connectivity allows robots to access vast databases of information and continuously improve through machine learning. 
voice recognition accuracy has improved to over 95% in optimal conditions, and emotional intelligence algorithms can now detect subtle cues in tone, facial expression, and body language. Number 8. The Controversy and Ethical Concerns Now let's address the elephant in the room. Are companion robots, particularly those marketed for romantic purposes, healthy for society? The debate is fierce. On one hand, these robots could provide comfort and support for people who struggle with severe loneliness or social anxiety. They could serve practical purposes in caregiving, reducing the burden on human healthcare workers. For individuals with autism spectrum disorders or severe social anxiety, robots might offer a less stressful way to practice social interaction. And for elderly individuals in nursing homes with limited family contact, a companion robot might provide meaningful engagement. But on the other hand, critics worry that relying on robots for emotional fulfillment could further isolate people from real human connections. If someone can get companionship from a robot, what incentive do they have to work on the social skills needed for human relationships? There are also concerns about objectification, particularly with robots designed to resemble attractive young women. Some worry these robots reinforce unhealthy attitudes about relationships and consent. Psychologists have raised concerns about attachment disorders and the blurring of lines between human and machine relationships. When robots are designed to always agree, never argue, and cater to every preference, users might develop unrealistic expectations for human partners. Number 9. The Future of Companion Robotics So, where is this technology heading? Industry experts predict several developments over the next decade. First, companion robots will become significantly more affordable, with basic models potentially available for under $1,000 within five years. Second, AI capabilities will continue improving, making conversations more natural and context-aware. Third, robots will likely become more specialized. Instead of general-purpose companions, we'll see robots optimized for specific roles – elderly care, child education, therapy assistance, or household management. Fourth, integration with smart home systems will allow robots to control lighting, temperature, entertainment, and security. Fifth, haptic technology will improve, making physical interactions more realistic. And sixth, we'll likely see increased regulation as governments grapple with the ethical implications. Some countries may restrict certain features or marketing approaches, particularly those targeting vulnerable populations. The market will also segment. Premium models will offer cutting-edge features for wealthy consumers, while budget models will provide basic companionship at accessible prices. We'll probably see subscription services where users pay monthly fees for software updates, cloud services, and premium features. Pay off the complicated truth. So here's the complicated truth about companion robots. They represent incredible technological achievement and could genuinely help address some serious social challenges. Elderly individuals without family nearby, people recovering from trauma, those with severe social anxiety. For these groups, companion robots might offer real benefits, but they're not substitutes for human relationships. They can't replace the complexity, growth, and genuine connection that comes from interacting with other people. A robot will never challenge you to grow, never offer the unexpected insights that come from a different perspective, never share in your struggles with the depth that a human friend can. The key is balance. Companion robots might work best as supplements to human relationships, not replacements for them. Like any tool, they're neither inherently good nor bad, it depends on how we use them. What do you think about companion robots? Would you consider getting one for yourself or an elderly family member? Or do you think we're crossing a line? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this deep dive fascinating, hit that subscribe button for more explorations of cutting-edge technology and its impact on society.